Welcome to the 2021 Celebrate Nurses Recognition Ceremony. Tonight, we honor 10 nurses who have gone above and beyond for their patients, for their team members, for their organizations, and for the community. My name is Deanna Walls, and on behalf of the Lincoln Journal Star, we are so grateful for every person who puts on a uniform, holds a hand, gives advice, and does what they can for the health of our entire community. Tonight's presentation is brought to you by our presenting sponsors, Brian Health and CHI Health. A special thank you to our supporting sponsor, Legacy Retirement Communities. They wanted to share a few words. Hello, I'm Lisa Vale, Chief Nursing Officer at Bryan Medical Center. On behalf of Bryan Health, I would like to congratulate all of the 2021 Lincoln Journal Star Celebrate Nurses honorees. This past year has been one like no other for the profession of nursing, as it has demonstrated the critical role of the nurse. Today, we congratulate each Celebrate Nurses nominee, and especially our Bryan Health nominees, for being recognized for making a meaningful difference in the lives of others. You are all amazing, and we celebrate you. Congratulations. Uh, first and foremost, it does take a, a caring and a love of people, um, that compassion, empathy. You have to be able to show that you're genuinely invested in their care. I mean, to be really advocates for your patients, to be really caring, um, you know, really put your heart into patients because, you know, you can be the smartest person in the world. Um, you could do this for years, but if you aren't empathetic and compassionate towards your patient and their families, um, I just don't feel like it goes as far. I think you need to have a good work ethic. I think you need to be caring. I think you need to be a, a nice person and can, you gotta kind of figure out how to talk to all different walks of life. Being open to learning every day, I think uh, being open to um, never thinking that you know it all, no matter how long you've been at the job. Humor. My goal when I worked at Brian for 10 and a half years was you walk in a room and the patient's not in a good mood. And my goal was that they will be smiling by the end of my shift. Um, you have to be very resilient, very flexible. <laughs> um, nursing, your shift, things can change so quickly. You have to be able to change on the drop of a hat and go with the flow. Um, so I think it's a lot of that. And then obviously compassion and um, gotta be, gotta have your wits about you all the time. <laughs> you really have to be giving of yourself. You, you do have to draw from your own personal strength to help get some people through it sometimes. Ultimately just loving. If you, if you can um, truly care for your patients then you can do anything for them. It's really hard sometimes when you're overwhelmed with um, trying to make a difference for a lot of people. So, sorry, I didn't know I'd get emotional. <laughs> but um, I think it is um, figuring out what you can do for that person in front of you um, and make a difference in that life. Sometimes that's for the families that you're helping um, to understand what's going on. Sometimes it's for that person in your care. You know, you're the strength for our resident because they don't have their families right now. So you're essentially that family that you're giving that love to uh, the residents. So. You know, our job has a great perspective. Um, we get a, <clears throat> excuse me, we get a leave at the end of the day. We get to go home to our families. Uh, the patients always don't don't always have that luxury. 
we aren't sick, we aren't having a heart attack, we don't have high blood pressure. Um, so as long as you uh, focus on the work and the patients and the families, there's perspective in that. You're stronger than you think. Look where, look where you've carried us, where you've helped us get to with our residents, the support and the love that you've given them. We give each other energy when we need it, and we are are there to build each other up when we need it. And, you know, I think it's been cliche over the pandemic, maybe that we're all in this together, but, but it is true. We have each other to draw upon. And so I think there's something beautiful about that. What we have been able to witness this year is outstanding. Nurses taking on new roles, spending time away from their families so they can help take care of ours. It was not an easy task to select this year's 10 honorees. We would like to thank our selection panel for reviewing all the nominations this year. Margaret Weppel, Nebraska Hospital Association. Jody Nelson, Southeast Community College. Wendy Moore, Bryan Health. Maureen Allison, CHI Health. Thank you for your work and what was a difficult process, as we know that every single nurse working today deserves honor and recognition for all that they've been through over the past year. Our first honoree this evening is Suzanne Semino from CHI St. Elizabeth. Here's what her nominator had to say. Suzanne may be the best overall nurse that we have in the ER presently, and by that I mean she has excellent critical thinking skills. She is a truly outstanding mentor and preceptor to new nurses, and she provides exceptional leadership. If Suzanne is uncertain about a medical condition, treatment plan, medication, she goes to great lengths to learn everything she can and then shares that information. She is empathetic and has an emotional intelligence of someone beyond her years. It is not just the doing. Suzanne leads by example. She exhibits true professionalism and is a very respected member of our staff. She has done outreach with other units to help us work better together. I'm so excited to see what is next for Suzanne. It is such a privilege to work with a nurse who is this exceptional. Wow, I know it's kind of hard to like, it's like kind of overwhelming um, that people think that high, highly of me. I think that's like really great. Um, like it just is like very heartwarming that like my coworkers think of me that way, <laughs> so. Thank you so much, Suzanne, for what you do for the ER and your coworkers. Our next honoree is Hope Crom, who works at CHI Health Nebraska Heart Hospital. Here's what her nominator had to say. Hope is an extremely dedicated ICU nurse at CHI Health Nebraska Heart Hospital, who always has an infectious smile and positive attitude that greatly benefits all of her coworkers and patients on a daily basis. She found herself filling in as the interim nurse educator this past year for an unexpectedly long time and did an amazing job guiding us through the new challenges of COVID-19. She helped keep the staff up to date with the constantly changing recommendations and guidelines. Nebraska Heart is very fortunate and appreciative to have Hope on our team. Oh, I love it. That makes, I mean, I cannot tell you how happy that makes me feel to feel, to hear that someone else or that someone thinks that of me. That's super awesome. We only got one life, so we got to live it good. So it just makes me super happy to hear that my coworkers truly do believe um, in those things. So yeah. Congratulations, Hope. You're a valued member of the Nebraska Heart Team. Our next honoree is Kelly Fields from Surgical Care PC. Here's what her nominator had to say. Even with the COVID pandemic, Kelly has gone above and beyond the limits, finding ways to allay her patients' apprehensions and assist in meeting good outcomes. She has developed a passion and a special expertise for dealing with breast cancer patients, as well as surgical patients dealing with colon cancer, gallbladder disease, thyroid surgery, and hernia problems. When her schedule entails working late or coordinating additional arrangements for patients, she leaves no stone unturned. Kelly is focused, compassionate, and highly skilled at orchestrating details to reassure her patients that they will receive the very best care. Kelly is a valuable asset to our medical community. She is in no uncertain terms, a healthcare hero. It's just rewarding. Uh, every second, every minute, no. Maybe not, maybe you're working overtime, long hours, but if you focus on the patient's needs, it's so rewarding. 
and you help people get better or you help them die with dignity. Well, thank you so much, Kelly, for holding hands and sharing your smile with everyone you see. Our next honoree is Kathy Gruby, who recently retired from Bryan Health. I should mention her nominator is a special person. He's her husband. Kathy is both an incredible nurse and a wonderful person. For over 30 years as a staff nurse at Bryan Medical Center, she has served her patients and coworkers by her ceaseless hard work, dedicated and compassionate care with attention to both their physical and emotional needs. Her warm smile and caring nature helps calm and comfort her patients and all those around her. Her passion and commitment to others go well beyond hospital walls, as evidenced by her years of work at Matt Talbot Kitchen, Clinic with a Heart, and most recently serving our community by being a nurse volunteer at COVID screening and vaccination clinics. She will always step up to help those in need. Wow. Um, golly, um, I, I'm speechless. I don't really know what to say. That was very, very sweet of him. That's just who he is, so. Well, congratulations, Kathy, and thank you for continuing to help our community. Our next nominee is Nicole Hardy, who works at both the Legacy and Legacy Estates. Here's what her nominator, her boss, Barb Scott, had to say. Nicole is an LPN who has been with the Legacy Retirement Communities for 14 years and is currently the DON at the Legacy and Legacy Estates. Nicole's staff know that they can call her for guidance anytime, day or night. Nicole has this welcoming approach that lets her residents know that she is their advocate, their support. She is their voice. During this pandemic, Nicole has led the way for all of us and has worked hard to make this pandemic not a hinder, but a time for growth. That's really awesome. I'm, I'm just, I feel very blessed. She's, she's a great, she's a great boss and I, she's really um, educated me on, on, uh, how to be better. So, um, you know, the company that I work for, the Legacy Retirement Communities, it's been the best thing um, career-wise that I could have ever done. I feel very, I feel very honored and very blessed to have been nominated and selected. So, yeah. Congratulations, Nicole. Your coworkers love you. Our next honoree is Angela Herbert from Bryan Health. Here's what her nominator had to say. Angela has been instrumental in leading many different COVID-19 related programs. This includes standing up the community's first COVID-19 drive-through testing site in March of 2020, establishing the Bryan Medical Center compassionate end of life visitation process that allows two family members to be with COVID positive patients at the end of life. And now she is actively involved in leading Bryan Medical Center's collaboration with the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department in the provision of COVID-19 vaccination clinics, arranging many volunteers to assist in this vital work. Her expertise in logistics and pulling interdisciplinary teams together to accomplish great things in short order is amazing. She is a passionate and dedicated leader, living the Brian core values of care like crazy and go the extra mile with a smile in everything she touches. Our entire city and county is benefiting from her exemplary and tireless work. You know, none of that happens without an incredible team that helps to make it happen. I am absolutely nothing without all of them. So I really don't deserve all that. We think you're amazing, Angela. Thank you so much for all you've done for the city of Lincoln. Our next honoree is Kevin Mendelhall from CHI Nebraska Heart Hospital. Here's what his nominator had to say. Kevin has been a nurse for 24 years. He is a wealth of knowledge and wisdom, someone myself and others go to regularly for advice and expertise. He is always willing to share advice and is a great mentor to newly graduated nurses. He explains things in a way that no matter how dumb the question may be, the asker never feels embarrassed or put down. He always actively listens to patient and family concerns, helping to put them at ease. Patients especially love Kevin. We will have a patient come in that was at the hospital a year or two ago, and the patient will always remember Kevin and how well he cared for them. Kevin is an exceptional nurse, going above and beyond for each patient he cares for. Well, that's an awful, uh, awful lot of kind things to say. 
Um, I'm flattered. I don't know if they're all, uh, uh, I don't know if I can take credit for all that. Um, excuse me. Uh, I work with a great team of nurses, providers, uh, cath lab, OR, front desk, EVS, and it takes a whole team to do what we do. So I feel like that's a little generous in the uh, compliments for me, but that was very thoughtful that somebody felt um, uh, the need to share that. I appreciate that, um, but I'm just trying to do the best I can and, and make patients and families feel uh, at ease or as comfortable as they can during a, uh, a terribly, sometimes life-threatening situation, sometimes just stressful. Um, and every day is different. So I'm just trying to continue to get better and, and uh, be a good team member and, and um, do my best. Well, your best is amazing. Thank you, Kevin, for all you do. Your patients are lucky to have you. Our next honoree is Tish Othet, also from CHI Health Nebraska Heart Hospital. Here's what her nominator had to say. Tish is an ultimate team player in her willingness and passion to take on any role and responsibility asked of her. Her diverse skill sets have been instrumental in filling multiple roles over the past 12 months. Her primary role at CHI Health Nebraska Heart is in the imaging department as a stress test nurse. As the unknown demands of the pandemic crisis evolved, Tish transitioned into a supervisory role at local COVID-19 testing sites. No task was too large for her to assume. Responsibilities ranged from registration to specimen collection to traffic control and other management components. Her ultimate goal was to ensure each and every patient and employee at the testing site felt safe and protected during the process. In every role asked of her, Tish demonstrates the highest levels of professionalism, dedication, and passion. Her ability to do anything asked of her is instrumental in the success of Nebraska Heart Hospital. Extremely humbling. Just uh, hear the word shared. Truly uh, an honor. Um, I just, I am who I am. I did what needed to be done. And I didn't think there was anything spectacular out of the normal. It's, it, we had a job to do. Well, thank you so much, Tish, not just for doing your job, but for taking care of all of us. Our next nominee is Tammy Schroeder from Crete Area Medical Center. Here's what her nominator had to say. Tammy is a nurse down to her soul. Her combination of empathy and knowledge set her apart from other healthcare providers. Tammy works hard every day to give her patients the best care possible. Now she's sharing her knowledge and experience with the next generation of nurse practitioners at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. As her husband, I am by no means impartial. I nominate her for this award on behalf of so many of her patients who have approached me in our small town to tell me what a great healthcare provider she is for them. And for her coworkers who enjoy her positive attitude and admire how much she cares for her patients and for the many others who have told me they decided to become nurses because of her example. By the way, she's probably gonna yell at me for nominating her. She hates attention on her good deeds, but I think she deserves the attention as do all our nurses this year. They have once again helped us all realize what a real hero looks and acts like. I just feel so humbled by it because I'm just surrounded by such you know, amazing nurses all the time. Well, there are so many out there who appreciate your contribution. Thank you so much for all you do, Tammy. Our final honoree for the 2021 Celebrate Nurses campaign is Melissa Wilson from the NICU unit at CHI Health St. Elizabeth. Melissa Wilson is an RN educator for the Neonative Intensive Care Unit at CHI Health's St. Elizabeth and has worked there for 28 years. Starting out as a NICU nurse, she most recently has embraced the role as educator for the team. She works tirelessly to find new and innovative ways to bring new details to staff and spends time one-on-one -on -one to make sure they are confident in the many changes. Melissa also works closely with the division to ensure that the most current information is always peer reviewed and well researched. Melissa has also been the coordinator for the NICU transport team for many years. 
The rapport that she has built with our surrounding communities speaks highly of her selfless nature that works to ensure that staff is prepared and confident with every delivery. Melissa has also hosted the NICU Fun Run, which is a great event highlighting past NICU graduates and looks forward to a time when this group can get together again. I, I happened to read through some of the other people and I saw some of my coworkers that were actually on the nomination list, Elizabeth Jacobs Fitzgerald and Randy Wolf. I don't feel like I'm worthy of this kind of an honor. <laughs> I don't at all. And I'm not just saying that. I see those two women and the beautiful work they do as nurses and I have so much respect for them and how they touch people's lives individually so I just I just do my job and I don't feel like I do anything different than the people that I work alongside really so I guess that I I, I don't know I don't feel like that I really deserve any special recognition for anything I'm doing so and I want to give a shout out to all the all those guys all my coworkers, because they've taught me a lot of what I know and am able to do now so I guess that's it. <laughs> well, congratulations, Melissa. Your entire team thinks you're pretty special. Thank you again to all our honorees and everyone who has been nominated this year. We appreciate all that you've done for our community so much. We have a special section coming out in the Lincoln Journal Star saying thank you on May 9th as a part of Nurses Week. So make sure you check that out. Thank you once again to our presenting sponsors, Brian Health and CHI Health. We thank you so much for making this possible this year. And thank you again to every nurse who does what they do every single day. You make our world a better place. There's so many opportunities for nurses these days, so just don't pigeonhole yourself, I guess, and open yourself up. You can never not have a job in nursing if you really want a job. If you land in a, in a position that you don't love, there's a thousand more positions that you will love. Keep your ears open and your eyes open and listen to people who have been doing it um, who have been nurses for a while, listen to the doctors around you, listen to your patients first and foremost. You may make some minor mistakes, but it's okay. Find a mentor that you feel you can trust and they will continue to mentor you. Learn as much as you can. Don't be afraid to jump in. And then all of a sudden at five years, you become the expert making someone's day just by smiling or anything like that. It truly just drives home why I do what I do. You know, we're lucky enough to meet just some really amazing people that just the average person working their job doesn't come close to the, the uh, relationships that we build with our patients, so. So to be able to impact them in a positive way, to give them hope, you really see what you do in your training, um, the fruits of that labor, I guess, and that it does, it did matter in that person's life and you get to touch a lot of people's lives in that way. It's a beautiful group of lifelong learners who just really want to give. You know, they, they truly want to give. And to surround yourself with people like that your whole life, I mean, that's such a gift. I mean, you can't pick a better career.